So, your parents haven't figured it out yet, have they? Nope. What are, what are you going to do when they do? Um, I don't know. I don't think they, like, have to, you know? Like, I mean, I'm just covered up in that hurt. You've seen. Yeah, I have. Maybe <laughs> so, like, you know, when they watch this video, they'll see me. <laughs> <laughs> Every other Sunday, but sometimes on Mondays or Tuesdays, I go over to Mark hey, Reynolds' house. How are you? Good, how are you? Not bad. Come on we in. We briefly tell each other how things are going, and then I stand in his kitchen while he shaves the left side of my head. It's funny, because even though I don't know him that well, and he probably hasn't had a haircut himself in years, I've trusted him with this task for the past several months. The first time I cut my hair like this, well, I was liberated in a sense, yes, but this was overshadowed by the intense fear I had that my mother would actually end my life when she found out. It was summer and I was away at school, but I was supposed to spend three weeks at home that August. My mother and I were supposed to go to California, just the two of us, seeing friends and surfing. I was completely dreading her reaction. The thought of her outrage and disappointment was almost enough to keep me from going through with it altogether. But I decided that if I didn't do something like this now as a 21-year-old student, I was only going to do it at an even more inappropriate time, like when I'm a 40-year-old mom or something. Despite this resolve, I was still pretty paranoid that she would suddenly appear at school or the grocery store or right at my apartment door. I had dreams of that dreaded moment of having to show her what I so impulsively did. I would tell her and she would turn into a monster and eat me. I didn't plan for it to be this elaborate secret, it just kind of happened. When I finally did go home that August to see her, I kept the shave part hidden to make it less shocking. She was just so happy to see me and kept saying how great my hair looked that I couldn't bring myself to ruin it. I said tomorrow, tomorrow I will tell her. And then that became the next day and the day after. Before I knew it, we were surfing together in California, and I was still getting away with it. That's how it became this huge secret. I just didn't want to upset her. The secret quickly created two worlds for myself. One, where people thought I was this badass chick who could care less about social convention. And another, where I had a full head of hair and played by all the rules. I could simultaneously look like the person I always kind of wanted to be, and my mother could blissfully admire my full head of hair. We were both happy. Months passed by and in April, the student newspaper ran a story about trendy haircuts. My picture was featured online. My mom sent me the article and all she said with it was the word saddened. I tried to explain that this didn't have to be a big deal, that my hair had been this way for a while and nothing had to change. She said whatever and that she had to go. Earlier this semester, I read something by this German social theorist. He said that the secret is one of man's greatest achievements because the secret produces an immense enlargement of life. The secret offers, so to speak, the possibility of a second world alongside the manifest world, and the latter is decisively influenced by the former. That guy probably didn't tell his parents anything.